In neurons, degradative lysosomes exist in both the cell body and the axon, where they are moved back and forth along the microtubule cytoskeleton by molecular motors. But Gentry Patrick and colleagues at the University of California, San Diego, have previously shown that dendritic membrane proteins, such as postsynaptic AMPA receptors, can also be targeted to lysosomes for degradation. For the most part, it had been assumed that dendrites were devoid of lysosomes. We have a very simple question that we wanted to ask, and that is, how do membrane proteins out in distal dendrites get degraded? And, you know, there's a couple ways that we thought about. You could either traffic the lysosomes out to them, you could bring them all back to the cell body, or perhaps there are stationary lysosomes that are outpost where things are moving in between different regions of the dendrite. Patrick and colleagues, led by graduate student Marissa Gu, began by examining the distribution of the lysosomal protein LAMP1 in hippocampal neurons. So one of my collaborators, Mark Ellisman, who's a BM powerhouse, and he's gentry, you know. We rarely see classically defined lysosomes and dendrites by EM. But when we begin to look at LAMP1 positive structures by classic immunohistochemistry and live imaging by topically expressing LAMP1 GFP, their distribution is all over the place, base of spines, neck of spines, in spine heads, very far out in distal dendrites, and they move around and some of them don't move. Not only did we see that, we saw that there was a heterogeneity in size Gu et al. could also see LAMP1 positive structures in dendrites by electron microscopy, using the engineered peroxidase Apex2, which can oxidise diaminobenzidine into an EM contrasting agent. By fusing this enzyme directly to LAMP1, the authors were able to observe LAMP1 positive vesicular structures in dendrites and in proximity to spines. These LAMP1 positive structures appear to have lysosomal activity. They are acidic, and they disappear upon treatment with GPN, a substrate of the lysosomal protease cathepsin C that, when cleaved, causes the organelle to lyse and release calcium. And so we were confident that these structures at least had the functional capacity of what we would term a lysosome. The researchers found that internalised AMPA receptors traffic to LAMP1-positive structures in and around dendritic spines. Since the internalization and degradation of membrane proteins like AMPA receptors is regulated by synaptic activity in order to promote synaptic remodeling, Gu et al. investigated whether synaptic activity also affected the trafficking of lysosomes to dendritic spines. Two different paradigms of stimulating neurons lead to an increase in the number of these LAMP1 GFT positive structures in the spine head. Uh, and then we followed that up, and if we go in and uncage glutamate over a single spine, we see the recruitment of these structures, these labeled structures that we call lysosomes, to the base of these spines. And their dwell time at the base of spines is significantly enhanced. So that tells us that there must be some signaling pathway for them to receive those instructive cues. We don't know what this pathway is. We would imagine that it's somehow linked to motor proteins and maybe the sequestration of these uh, organelles at the base of dendritic spines. LAMP1 positive structures co-localized with F-actin at dendritic spines, so Gu et al. examined the role of both the microtubule and actin cytoskeletons in regulating dendritic lysosome motility. When we obliterate microtubules with nicotazole, we, you know, pretty much everything stops moving it. But the converse happened when we kind of disrupted F-actin, and, and uh, that was done with latrunculin A. We saw an increase in the mobile pool of lysosomes, suggesting that perhaps F-actin or F-actin binding proteins may be involved in the sequestration or the stopping of uh, lysosomes at spines. Lysosome trafficking is also dependent on the organelle's activity, since treatment with the lysosomal protease inhibitor lupeptin impaired lysosomal motility. 
Moreover, lupeptin treatment reduced the number of dendritic spines, indicating that lysosomal trafficking and activity regulate synaptic remodeling. Now, we don't have to do too much guesstimation what lysosomes are doing. In part, they're degrading proteins. However, there's a lot of nice work coming out of recent And it appears that lysosomes are doing a lot of things. For instance, they are even continuously exocytosing, delivering activated cathepsins, which can then go on to activate other enzymes such as MMT9 to do some aspect of synaptic remodeling. So bottom line, I think lysosomes are doing some very cool things in dendrites. Patrick and colleagues now want to explore how the trafficking of internalised membrane proteins to dendritic lysosomes is regulated, and to investigate the role of the autophagy pathway in dendrites. For now, though, you can learn more about the activity-dependent trafficking of lysosomes in dendrites and dendritic spines in the paper by Gu et al., published in the August 7, 2017 issue of the Journal of Cell Biology. Thank you.